Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of November. I would like to thank each one of you for subscribing to my channel, for liking, viewing and supporting me. I truly appreciate it. Um, this is just a general reading for your sign. If it does not resonate with you, then you can always purchase a reading and my email address, address will be at the bottom of the video in the text box. If it does resonate, then I'm glad that I can provide a service to you for free. If you have never seen any of my videos or you're new to my channel, then I would like to tell you about myself. I am a clairsentient. It's a heightened form of empathy. It means clear feeling. I read people and that is where I shine and do my best work. This means that I can read another person's emotions. So if you're in a situation that you're finding confusing, for example, you're involved with someone and they're giving you mixed messages and you're being given the runaround, I can feel that person's emotions. I can feel past, present, and future through their emotions. I cannot read minds, but I can read feelings. So if you'd like more information on a personal reading, just email me and I usually get back to you within a day and have a reading out to you within 48 hours. So to give you a short example, so let's say you met somebody and things have been really, really going good and they're blowing up your phone up until last week and then it stopped or stops. I can feel why that person does that. So for example, I can feel if they're busy because then I feel busy. I can feel if they're not interested anymore because I feel that feeling of not being interested. So that's how it works. That's how I pick up these vibrations, these energies. Okay. So I'm using the Lenormand deck this month. And also I'm going to pull one card from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. The way I do my readings is I put four cards down. The first card is them. The second card is you. The third card is advice. And the fourth card, it, fourth card is outcome for the month. Okay. So what are the messages for Scorpio for the month of, no of November. Scorpio for the month of November. Scorpio for the month of November. Okay, so I'm just going to pick a random card and this is them. Okay, that's Scorpio. <clears throat> Sorry, that's them. Sorry, that's them. Now number 32 is going to be you. Okay, so I'm going to put lay 32 cards down. The 32nd one is you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. All right. Libra just had this in the same position. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the next card is going to be the outcome. Okay. Or the advice. The advice card is number seven. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Advice. Okay. All right. So the first card is them, which is the moon, number 32. And this is an emotional person who has mood swings. Most likely probably a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So you're dealing with someone for the most part, just like you. This reading is for Scorpio. So here you have it, your match. <laughs> so um, this is somebody who is having mood swings. They're a little bit depressive. Um, they like to take care of other people. And they're very in tune with the moon and the moon cycles. Uh, this is a relationship with deep feelings. So um, this person could have already feel deep feelings for you. Okay. So then we have you, which is the snake, which is number seven. And the number, the snake is a card that represents um, traditionally this represents a mother is what it says. But um, you could be tempted by this person. Um, this person can also, I would think, can trigger deep feelings of guilt or shame and be manipulated towards you. Uh, And 
this card can also mean that you're taking the most complicated way through this relationship. Okay, this is also that represents a Scorpio. Okay, and this card is about contemplation. So you could be contemplating right now. Okay, but this person can bring out the worst in you. All right. Okay, so the advice card here is number 29, which is the woman. It's the female. She represents intuition. So I would say for this month, this card is saying for you to follow your intuition. It's everything feminine. Okay. It's about goodness and joy. But um, and it, perhaps it can be saying that this month, um, have some joy with this relationship, but also use your intuition. Okay, don't don't push it off. All right, the fourth card is the card that represents the outcome for the month. So I add the numbers up, and the numbers that I add up is going to be the number I pull for the outcome card. So thirty two, I'm going to break down to the number five. Five and seven is twelve. So 12 breaks down to 3, and 29, um, that bre breaks down to 11. 9 plus 2 is 11, and I said 3, right? So 14. So it's going to be the 14th card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we have the bear. Such beautiful cards. This is the outcome. All right, for the month. So this is about power, strength, diplomacy, trustworthy, situation you can trust. Okay. Um, so the outcome for this month is you can trust this situation. It's the magician in the tarot deck, strength, seven of wands, four of swords. It's about really no movement right now. It's just about being and trusting and just trust in the situation. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to pull one card from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. Okay. That one went flying out. And the card is, all right, getting to know each other. As you reveal your inner, innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, follow your intuition. All right, this is a trustworthy situation. Get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. All right, really nice reading. Okay, so that's for all of you Scorpios out there. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helps you. Again, if you're looking for a private reading, just send me an email and I will um, uh, get back to you within 24 hours. All right. Have a great month. Bye-bye.